Hello everybody, I'm Dustin Benzel, and welcome to an interlude to Pokemon XY Anime. Now, if you remember, in my previous reflections, I said that I would uh, reflect on Generation 4. That's still going to have to wait till later, because there's a lot of news that I want to share with XY Anime, as well as there's going to be a trailer coming up in a few days that I need to go over. But don't worry, I will reflect on Generation 4 coming up soon. Now, there's a lot of information that has happened recently that I want to go over. Um, I believe there was a trailer or something like that for the Japanese, uh, not the Japanese, sorry, the uh, New Year's Eve special. And what we've learned from that is that um, Serena will be getting a new design. Serena, there's a silhouette of Serena and her Pancham. And you'll notice that um, she will have shorter hair. Now you're probably wondering why in that image, if you've seen it, why it's Serena's Pancham. But I'm thinking that Serena's Fennekin is going to evolve around the time that Serena's hair will get a haircut or hairstyle change. So that's probably why it was Pancham that showed up with her because it, it wouldn't have been uh, accurate if it was a Fennekin, and uh, Fennekin evolves before the hairstyle change. So it makes sense why uh, Serena's Pancham is on there. Um, to further discuss, um, um, there is some unfortunate news. It's not 110% confirmed outside of this bit of news, but when Ash battles Clement, it will be, the first matchup will be Pikachu versus Bunnelby. That is absolutely confirmed. 110%. What isn't confirmed is whether or not it is a three-on-three -three or not. Because there is a screenshot somewhere, and I don't know where the origins come from, since this episode probably isn't going to air for a long time, so it wouldn't be in TV Tokyo's title stuff like that. But we see a shot, and it's Pikachu, or not, P Ash versus Clamont, Pikachu, two Pokeballs, Bunnelby, and two Pokeballs. Now, it's entirely possible that it is more than a three-on-three, -three, but if I remember correctly, it always did someone first before the other person, but maybe they did it at the same time, I'm not really certain. The versus uh, screens are very hard to figure out in this generation since they're actually new this generation um so it looks like it's three on three now this concerns me a lot because um either clement is using his on-hand pokemon which would be very disappointing for me or the best possible option is that clement will be using pikachu or clement will be using pikachu yeah uh -huh, yeah uh -huh, i know i know uh, Clement will be using Pikachu. Oh, <laughs> oh wow, I'm so messed up. Uh, Clement will be using Bunnelby, Luxray Luxio, and Heliolisk. That is the best option because right now it's looking like Clement will only use his on, on hand Pokemon. And I've already addressed this that that's disappointing because this is not just a battle between traveling companions. This is a battle for Ash's voltage badge. And it would be disappointing if Clement was not treated like a gym leader. Now, I can understand Bunnelby being used because maybe because Bunnelby was used against Pikachu in the beginning. But the problem that I have, there is a little logic flaw in that, is that even though it makes sense to use Bunnelby, keep in mind, Bunnelby was just to give Clement a Pokemon because his other Pokemon were used by the Clembot. And Clement needed an extra Pokemon, so that's why Clement had Bunnelby. Now, having Bunnelby being used simply because it's a part of Clement's team is a little worrying. It worries me a lot. So, like I said, it... Um, uh, I can understand that Bunnelby is being used, but the problem is Bunnelby is not part of Clement's gym leading team. Now, if this was a four on four or even a five on five, 
I would have no problem. But the very fact that this seems to be a three-on-three -three and Clements, one of his Pokemon is Bunnelby, is very disappointing to me. Because it might spell out that Clement will, in fact, use his on-hand Pokemon of Luxio, Luxray, Chessman, and Bunnelby. And as I said in the other video of Ash versus Clement, and I was discussing it, I strongly disagreed because Clement should not be treated as a traveling companion. This is for Ash's fifth gym badge. Now, I can see the reasoning that Clement would give Ash a challenge regardless of his Pokemon that he chooses, but the problem is that the writers cannot be treating this battle simply as a battle between traveling companions. If Clement uses his on-hand Pokemon, then this is really no different than, like, say, Ash battling Misty uh, before Cerulean Gym happened, and Ash beats her and then automatically gets a gym. If, if Misty actually used Pokemon that she had on hand that wasn't her gym Pokemon that she kept at the gym. And I don't like that. I don't like the idea that Clement would be using his on-hand Pokemon only for a gym battle with Ash because it wouldn't be any different than if Ash were to battle Clement in any other location and all of a sudden Ash wins and then gets a gym badge. No, the gym badge should be about gym Pokemon. Which is why, if it is a three-on-three, -three, I'm hoping the other two slots are Heliolisk as well as Luxio slash Luxray. Oh, I wish people would stop driving by. <laughs> Come on now, I'm trying to talk here. Anyway, um, so, but there is also news in regards to the battle with Clement. If you saw the TVO... TV Okio. <laughs> TV Okio. And do you know what that is? I don't. If you know what the T. If you've gone to the Pokemon XY anime page from TV Tokyo, the webpage, I, there are like special websites that TV Tokyo has for every particular show it airs, apparently. And then there's one for each of the Pokemon series from the original series to the advanced series to the DP series and so on and so forth. There is a special website page or whatever that has to deal with just Pokemon X-Way, X-Y, X-Way, X-Way, <laughs> the new Pokemon game coming out, X-Way. <laughs> On the side of Pokemon X-Y, they have been recently putting a special video in the top left corner, and most of the time, it is for future episodes. That's uh, that's where the trailer for um, Ash's Halucha came from and stuff like that. It was in the top left corner. Now, this may have been uh, precipitated by probably a trailer after the episodes or special airing on TV. But they've really been putting future episodes... See, if, if you were looking at like this, you visited the Tokyo website, the, the video would probably be about here, and it would be on any page, I believe. There's a special trailer page that shows you the next episode that's going to show up. But the, the special thing about this is that even though most of it was for past episodes, there was a tiny clip, well, there may have been other stuff, but... The most important thing is the clip with Ash versus Clement, Pikachu versus Bunnelby. <laughs> I realize that I'm like talking about this over when I could have just gotten to the point, but I'm just letting you know a little information beforehand because I don't want you to look up the TV Tokyo website and be like, what's he talking about? You know, so there, yeah, there is a special video. And for the past few months, weeks and stuff like that, it has been future episodes basically i expect if there's like a trailer that happens after new year's eve i expect that trailer to be up in there after everything happens but the most important thing is if we get back on track here is that there's a particular shot 
where Pikachu and Bunnelby collide, and Pikachu does like some sort of somersault in the air or something like that, and the camera shows in the audience there's a large Pokemon, as well as I believe Serena and Bonnie. It's really hard to see the human characters, or if they're other human characters, I haven't really looked at that particular part, because the Pokemon itself is very important. Now, this may be shocking, but the Pokemon in the background appears to be Gudra, which means Ash's Gumi is very well likely to fully evolve before Ash and Clement happen, which means that Gumi's evolution is probably going to be faster than we think. Now, there are some issues with this that I need to address. Um... But first, let's go back to Serena's design, because I kind of left that a little blank. Um, my opinion on the situation is I'm fine with Serena's design change because it's reflecting of a, of a game mechanic, and the more game mechanics that are translated into the anime is actually a plus. Anyway, sorry about that. I just I just realized that I just mentioned it and didn't exactly discuss it very well. Sorry. So sorry about that. So let's fast forward to Gudra. Now here's a few issues that I can see. A lot of people will be like, well, no, it can't be Gudra. It could be Slagoo, but why would it be Gudra? The thing is, I've watched it many times. I've actually basically downloaded the video and looked at it frame by frame of uh, on a special uh viewing um program i think it's the video lc no um it's it's the it's the video player that can play almost all of the media formats that exist you know the vlc thing yeah that and there's a frame by frame option and i've seen the frame by frames and i've actually took a snippet of just the, that shot of just that, and I've seen this multiple times, and there is a few reasons why it can't be Slagoo. For one thing, is the sheer size of the Pokemon. If Slagoo is that big, I can only imagine what Gudra would look like. The the pic the the Gudra on the cake and the script had to be lying, because Gudra would probably have to be at least maybe ten times bigger than the thing that we saw now. Now, if we're accurate and the thing that I saw was approximately six feet, I know perspective is different and stuff like that, but I'm just estimating here. Uh, Gudra would probably have to be 60 feet. <laughs> and I don't think Ash or anyone is going to get a 60 foot Pokemon, especially since the biggest Pokemon is Waylord and it's only 40 feet, if I'm not mistaken. So, well... Okay, uh, the the legends have legendary Pokemon have been pretty big, and I don't know how they compare with Waylord. And Waylord's size in the anime is probably the equivalent of a hundred feet, possibly, in some cases. So there may be some anime discrepancies on size, but Gudra would have to be gigantic, which means it has to be Gudra because it is too big to be Slagoo. Now, someone said that it could be easily Slagoo if it was sitting on top of a railing and stuff like that. But I disagree because the whole entire body of the Pokemon is obscured, which means that depending the the angle depending on the railing and stuff like that, it seems like part of the railing is actually obscuring the Pokemon. And the only reason, the only way it could be Sugu if Sugu was uh, was um facing crosswise or parallel with the railing, if it was sitting on the railing and stuff like that, because the Pokemon is actually upright, kind of like this, and facing towards the action. Sugu would only be something like that. It would be like a, like a, yeah, because Sugu is like more of a snail slug body and gudra is this long tall body so that's why it can't be slugu because it stands straight like this and that is not slugu's body shape slugu's body shape is the equivalent of this which means that sure it has a head and it has a little bit of height but it's mostly length gudra is mostly height and the pokemon in that shot is about height which means it cannot be Slugoo. Other reasons it can't be Slugoo 
is because Slugu, if you want to call them antennae, have its antennae standing straight up in the air and stuff like that, while Gudra's is more like hair when it's combed down and it goes downwards like this. And the antennae that I see in that image that I've seen multiple times have shown antennae going downwards. Now, you may not be able to see this because it's really hard to see, but frame by frame or even just seeing it multiple times, you will notice that there is antennae going down or there is something separated from my, from the body of the Pokemon going downwards like Gudra's antennae. Uh, other people have dressed coloring, but I have to discount that possibility completely because of the distance. Now, if you're an animator, I'm not an animator, but I think of this as a logical perspective and that an animator would not put a lot of detail in a particular Pokemon or human character that is further away in the background than what's actually happening in the foreground. Which means the animator could not have put a lot of detail into the Pokemon. So the coloring might be off simply because of the distance. Because the animator is not going to worry too much about the background. Now, the fact that the camera panned during and showed the audience, the animator is going to pay attention to that. Because that actually happened. It's not just going to be empty, just the stuff like that. But if it's like a close-up of Pikachu's face and stuff like that, and then and in the far distant background there's uh like Serena or whatever going <gasps> or something like that, the the Serena image is not gonna be very detailed because the animator is not gonna focus on that. And especially if you know anything about cameras, not everything in the camera shot can be clear. Uh, I mean, I could be wrong, there could be cameras that focus uh, a close shot image and then clear all the way through. That might be a possibility, but for the most of the case, most of the foreground will be clearer than what's in the background, unless what's in the background is important. And I realize that this is a cartoon and they can do that, but considering the distance and the size of the Pokemon in relation to the frame, you can't put a lot of detail anyway. Because you would probably, uh, the only way you would be able to do that is if you were to go very zoomed into the highest part of the image and create an image and then keep going and keep adding detail and stuff like that. But the problem with that is that the further back you go and the more detail you get in, it's going to probably take a lot more time than basically half-assing it. And animators will do that so they can focus on the most important things. <laughs> I realize that I'm babbling on about that, but because I need to go further and stuff like that. Now, here are a few problems that I have. Now, Gudra could just be in the audience and wait to be called because maybe Gudra can fly, I'm not really sure. Or at the very least, it could just jump over the railing and join. But if it is Gudra, if it is the Gumi that Ash is supposedly going to catch, and I will address that in a moment with concerns and stuff like that, why isn't Ash using Gudra? Um, um, Gumi is not going to be used against Ramos. That This is pretty much confirmed by the fact that Bonnie is holding Gumi. There is a shot of... Um, that goes by, and I think it's with Froggy Deer in the scene and stuff like that, and Gumi is in the background being held by Bonnie. Now, some of you might think, well, maybe Gumi was used, lost horribly, and then Bonnie picked it up, but here's the problem with that. It's very likely that Pikachu is going to be used in every gym so far. The fact that Pikachu is by Ash's side during the gym battle implies that Clement, or pff, sorry, I'm a little distracted by somebody looking towards me farther away. Hopefully, they won't actually see me. Um, so there's Bon, uh, Bonnie has Gumi, and Ash has. Pff, I'm sorry, I'm way distracted here. Um, Pikachu is by Ash's side, and if Ash wasn't going to use Pikachu, Pikachu probably would be next to Serena and stuff like that. So it's very likely Pikachu is going to be used. And if Pikachu isn't going to be used, it better be Fletchender, because 
Fletchender really doesn't have a lot of options. I know Fletchling has been used in the first three gym, the first four, three gyms, but it has to be used against Ramos. The I have no idea why they used it against Grant, except that Ash could use all three of his Pokemon. But the problem is, unfortunately, Fletchender has to be used against Ramos. I understand Halucha, I understand Frogadier, but if Fletchender is not used, I'm going to be horribly disappointed because it's very unlikely that Fletchender will be used in any other gym. And that further compounds a further problem with Gumi or even Gudra. Now, I can understand Gumi not being used against Ramus, but not being used against Clement is really worrisome because technically against Clement is Gumi slash Lagoo slash Gudra's only gem that it could be decent in because it's because it, all of its dragon type moves will be completely resisted, completely immune, are completely resistant. Uh, how do I put never mind. Valerie's Pokemon will be completely immune to Gudra's dragon type moves, and even if Gudra did have a poison type attack, it's not exactly the best gym because dragon types are weak against Valerie. Now, the other one is Olympia, but even then, that's going to be a neutral, and then there's the fact that Wolfric is super effective against Gudra. Now, if I remember correctly, Wolfric had Cryogonal, Obama Snow, as well as Avalug. I'm not sure if it was a 4-on-4, four four, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't, because I can't think of any other Pokemon that Wolfric would have had since there was only a couple of Ice Pokemon that were introduced this generation, and Amara's line and Bergmite's line is pretty much the only Ice Pokemon in 4th generation, and I really remember... Wolfric not having Amara or even Aurorus because Grant had Amara. Actually, Grant had both of the um, Pokemon. So now, uh, so let's ignore that real quick um, and let's discuss my problems with uh, this even further. Now, I can't understand why Gudra is not being used, and the only issue that I can think of is that Gudra isn't being used because maybe Bump. Because if it is Ash's Gudra, and I'm going to address this in just a moment, is that Bonnie doesn't want Ash using Gudra, or Gudra, or Bonnie doesn't want Gudra to be used against her brother. And this concerns me greatly. Because, like I said, this would have been Gudra's only best gym. Slagu, Gumi, whatever it is at this particular moment, it against Clement would be its best choice. And this really irritates me because then there would be no point in Ash getting a Gumi right now when Ash could have at least gotten like Phantup or something like that and potentially have been used against Ramos and Clement. So I'm a little confused as to why Ash is suddenly getting a Gudra before Clement, if that's the case, and why it's not being used. Now, I want to discuss the whole Ash getting Gumi thing. Now, all the signs point to Ash getting Gumi, but the problem with is the fact that Bonnie has too much of a bond with Gudra, or Gumi, that I have seen, and the fact that Gudra is in the audience versus Clement. Now, there could be many possibilities here outside of Ash doesn't get Gumi. Um, like I said, Bonnie may not want Ash using Gudra. Gudra doesn't want to be used against Clement or Bonnie's brother or something like that. Maybe it isn't actually Gudra, or maybe it's not Ash's Gumi Slugu Gudra itself. But in the off chance that everything I've seen with Bonnie bonding with Gumi might imply that Clement might, in fact, be getting Gumi. Now, I understand that. I, I, I don't want that to be the case. I really don't, because I would strongly disagree, very strongly disagree, because it would be an insult to Ash's character. Now, if you remember the su summary very carefully, 
the whole entire summary of this episode straight out, flat out says that Gumi should be going with Ash. And that's a reason why to believe that Ash will get Gumi because the summary states it. Now, but if for some reason Gumi decides to go with Bonnie and Clement catches Gumi as a result of all the bonding that Bonnie has with Gumi, which is far greater than any other Pokemon that does not belong with Clement. Bonnie had Fletching, Fletchling when Fletchling evolved, but it was particularly just at that particular moment that Bonnie took care of Fletchling to such a degree. Now, every preview that we've seen of Gumi past, the previews and titles have all been around Clement or even Bonnie. Uh, Clement by proxy because of Bonnie. We see Gumi on top of Luxio. We see Clement, or we, ha we have Dendene and Gumi being together and stuff like that. And that really bothers me. Because there is no reason why Ash is not getting a Gumi. Because that would mean by the time the movie happens, Clement will have, have more Pokemon than Ash. And then that will mean that Ash will still need two Pokemon. And that really disturbs me because if Clement does get Gumi for Bonnie's sake, and I hope this isn't the case, and I hope I'm just being paranoid for no particular reason, but then again, I'm thinking it's just going to be a complete insult to who Ash is. Because not only does the summary imply that Ash is there for Gumi, and being there for Gumi, to suddenly have uh, Gumi decide to be with Cl Bonnie, therefore Clement catches Gumi, is going to be very hard for me if I were to see that, because it would be so ridiculously forced that there would be no point in having Ash do what he usually does. Now, this may be a special um, storyline to show that uh, trainers and people don't always get what they want, but can you imagine, in a real-life human example can you imagine, like, let's say that you're a man or something like that, and, you, and there's this woman, right? That You're a man. There's a man and a female. Okay, so imagine you're that man, and you do everything for this woman. You save her. You take care of her. You say you're going to always take care of her. You love her. You want to spend the rest of her life with her. How insulting would it be to the male to have that woman just decide to be with some other person just because there's some appeal there. Now, I realize the episode hasn't aired yet, and maybe there would be a reason why Gumi would switch. But the problem is, why would the summary be so about Ash? Why would Ash be the perfect candidate for Gumi, and yet somebody else gets it? Why, why, why would the writers insult Ash like that? Because, if you remember the summary correctly, Ash specifically said he would help Gumi get stronger. Gumi wanted to be stronger, and Ash wanted to help it. And there was even a question of Gumi joins Ash's team? Question mark, exclamation mark. So having all that, having Ash be Ash, and then suddenly have Gumi decide to be with Bonnie, therefore Clement gets Gumi, would be completely insulting to Ash as a character. It would be such a slap and spit to Ash's character that they might as well just get rid of Ash. Because Ash is my favorite character, and I barely tolerated the way they treated Ash in 5th Gen. If they even do this, I'm... They just need to get rid of Ash because I'm sick and tired of Ash being the scum beneath their shoes. Now, hopefully I'm wrong. Hopefully I'm just being paranoid for no particular reason and that Ash will indeed get Gumi and that there's some reason why Ash isn't using Gudra. Because like I said before, 
Ash would be the best option of the three to get Gudra. Clement makes no sense whatsoever. Serena would make more sense, but at this particular point, I couldn't see any reason why. So, so this has been the information that has been revealed, or, well, not just revealed, but I've seen other people. The Gudra thing happened when I looked at the Cerebi forums and stuff like that, so, um, hopefully you'll just, uh, uh, textually by text slap me in the face and tell me I'm being paranoid and that I'm just being ridiculous and stuff like that because I really hope that's the case because I would be horribly disappointed if Ashton Gumi the only upside of this is for Gumi fans out there that Gumi will definitely be on the team in some fashion or another because Bonnie will be holding Gumi during the battle with Coomarine, which is exactly why I have a problem. Now, there is a Pokemon person that I watch on the YouTube that does Pokemon anime discussion, and he goes by Keichi Prestige and stuff like that. <gasps> oh, I name dropped Keichi Prestige! <laughs> and he brought up an interesting point that Bonnie would be better character if she was part of uh, helping people in their Pokemon and stuff like that. And for the most part, I partially do agree that Bonnie helping out other people's Pokemon would give more development to Bonnie and give her a purpose in the series. However, I don't want it to be sacrificed by writing of bad writing or illogical writing and stuff like that which means i have no problem with bonnie bonding with gumi i just don't want it to just be about bonnie and gumi because if gumi is fully evolving by the time that ash versus clement happens then it should switch to ash ash is the trainer for Gumi, hypothetically speaking. Therefore, Ash should have more interaction with Gumi, Slagu, and Gudra than Bonnie, and that's the part that I disagree with. If it's only going to be about Bonnie and Gumi, then that would be bad writing. So, well, this covers this episode. I don't want this to go to 40 minutes, and it's already 32 minutes, so... Um, this, well, this covers this particular part. So anyway, um, thank you for watching this particular discussion of the XY anime of information that has been revealed. Uh, some of this information may be a couple of days old and stuff like that, but it, but this, but the part about Gudra being in the audience versus Ash versus Clement really brought this in. Um, uh, when I do the New Year's special, it'll definitely be about 40, 45 minutes long for the trailer that will be airing. And then I will discuss more and stuff like that, such as the matchup between Ash and versus Clement. If it is a three on three, then there are certain Pokemon that I want to be chosen. And it will depend on the Pokemon chosen for Coomarine, which means I'm going to give you a little teaser here. If Fletchender is not used against Ramos then I pray that it's used against Clement. The only issue right now, and this is just a teaser, and I won't go into much details, but it looks like Clement will not be using Magneton or Magnemite, so that might be an issue. But anyway, thank you for watching this particular information. The next Pokemon X, uh, Pokemon video will probably be about the XY anime trailer this coming New Year's. It'll probably be a few days after the trailer is previewed, shown, because I'm not sure if I'll be able to make a video just then or around that time. But expect it the following Saturday or Sunday, because I'll plan on uploading it then. I'm Dustin Benzel, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.